Hi guys, I Aziz welcome you to Codemaster and in this video I am going to talk about wildcards in generics. In this video I will explain what is wildcards, how wildcard actually works and what are the different ways to use wildcards with generics. So if you are willing to learn about wildcards in generics then this video is for you. So make sure to watch this video till the end and without wasting any time let's get started. Alright guys, let's begin this video with the very first question that what is wildcard? Well in context to generics, the symbol question mark is called a wildcard. And what is mean by wildcard? The wildcard in generics represents unknown type. Just like we have types like integers, strings, objects, boolean, double. Similarly we have wildcard and wildcard represents unknown type. Okay. Now what is the purpose of wildcard? So guys the main purpose of wildcard is to relax restrictions on type. So I hope this is clear to you that wildcard is a special character that is question mark and wildcard represents unknown type and it is used to relax restrictions on types. So now let's move on and see the first type of wildcard that is bounded wildcard. So for example let's say I want to write a method and this method takes a list of objects and this method simply print all of the objects of this list on the screen. So I have written this method to accomplish the task. Now this method is taking a list of object and is printing all the elements on the screen. But guys if you look at this method there is one problem. I can only pass list of object into this method. I cannot pass list of integers or list of numbers or list of doubles. If you do so you will see compile time error. You can see here that required type is list of object and provided is list of integer. So which means it is required that we should pass list of object but we are passing list of integer. So guys in order to solve this problem wildcard comes into picture to rescue. So let me show you how can we solve this problem using wildcard. So it's pretty simple. Instead of object I just have to replace this object with question mark. Before the list is of type object but now the list is of type unknown. And the type of this we don't know. So if the type is unknown then we can pass list of any type. For example if we have list of integers we can pass to this method. If we have list of strings we can pass to this method. Okay. Similarly if you have list of doubles for example like this double ld 1.2, 2.3 and 3.5. So, so now you can also pass list of double to this method like this and it will work absolutely fine. Let's run the program and you will see that all the elements of list is printed on the screen 1, 2, 3, 1 1.2 and 3.5, 1, 2 and 3. So this is how wildcard help us in relaxing the restriction on the type arguments. So before the restriction was very tight, this method is bound with the list of type object but now this method is bound with the list of any type, right? So basically this type of wildcard is called unbounded wildcard, okay? So remember, this wildcard is nothing but unbounded wildcard. So this is the first use case of wildcard and this is the first type of wildcard we can use with generic, okay? So now let's move on and see what is upper bounded wildcard and how to use that. Alright, let's see this example. So in this example we have one method and this method is taking a list of numbers, okay? And inside of this method we are finding the sum of all the elements of the list. Okay and then we are simply printing it on the screen. So here using arrays class we are creating a list of integers. Okay storing it in a variable li of type list of integers and then we are simply passing this list of integer into this method. But guys if you look at this method the argument of this method is restricted to list of numbers. So here we have list of numbers and we are passing number. If you run this program it will work absolutely fine. It is giving a sum of 6.0. But what if I want to pass a list of integers or list of number? Will it going to work? Let's see it. So let's make it integer. And you can see that as soon as I update numbers to integer it is giving me an error. And the error is required type is number and the provided type is list of integer. So which means we are putting a strong restriction on the type of argument. Now what if I want to relax this restriction a little bit. So let's say I want to pass a, uh, a list of integers as well as list of doubles 
to this method then what is the solution so again this is where wildcard comes into picture to rescue us and this type of wildcard is called upper bounded wildcard so how to declare upper bounded wildcard so we are going to start with the question mark then followed by extends keyword and then followed by the type now what is the meaning of this expression here this expression meaning that we are allowing a list of all the types that extends the number class and we know that integer also extends number class and double also extends the number class so basically we are restricting this type to a specific type or a subclass of that type and here the type is number so now we can pass a list of all the types that extends number so integer extends number and double also extends number so let's call double let's name it ld and let's give it double values 2.2 and 3.3 so let's pass double to this method okay so now you can see that this method is taking a list of number a list of double or a list of integer let's run the program and you will see that this method is working absolutely fine and giving us 6.0 and 6.6 .6 as a sum of all the elements of this list and all the elements of double list okay so this is how we can use upper bound wildcard to restrict the unknown type to a specific type or the subtype of that type okay all right guys by now i hope that you understood what is upper bounded wildcard now let's move on and see what is lower bounded wildcard how to use it and what problem it solves so let's remove this piece of code from here let's remove it all right guys let's see this example here so in this example we have this method add numbers and this method is accepting a list of integer and what it is doing it is adding numbers from 1 to 10 to this list as simple as that but again the argument of this method is restricted to type list of integers so which means we can only pass list of integers to this function if i try to change this type from integer to number it will give compile time error and why is it so because the type is strictly restricted to list of integers so let's say i want to relax this restriction a little bit i want to allow a list of number as well as list of object to this method then what to do so this is where lower bounded wildcard comes into picture to rescue okay so how to declare lower bounded wildcard let's start with the question mark followed by the super keyword and then the type so as soon as we have declared lower bounded wildcard the error goes away so what is the meaning of this expression here so this expression simply says so we are restricting the unknown type to a specific type and all the super class of the specific type okay so now the super class of integer is number as well as object so we can pass a list of number as well as list of object and in both the cases it will work absolutely fine so here this question mark is acting as a lower bounded wildcard and this lower bounded wildcard makes this method more flexible to use now we can pass list of object or list of number or list of integers to this method so let's verify it let's call list of numbers run the program and you can see that all the elements of the list of number is printed on the screen so guys i hope now that you have good understanding of lower bounded wildcard as well as upper bounded wildcard and unbounded wildcard and now you also know how it works and how can we solve problem using unbounded wildcard upper bounded wildcard and lower bounded wildcard so this is all from my side for this video if you learned something valuable from this video then hit the like button in order to make youtube algorithm happy please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon so my friend you never miss any upcoming videos thanks for watching see you in the next one